Okay, in this video we're taking a look at the Newbie Drone Infinity 30 stack. This uh, comes with a 4-in-1 EC and a flight controller in, the, in this bundle. You can buy the flight controller separately and also with the 4-in-1 EC separately. You can also get the flight stack bundled in with the uh, DJI bundle with the goggles and the controller and the air unit. I have another air unit here. I'm going to show you what's so special about this is because it has a special plug for the air unit so you can just plug the flight controller directly into the air unit and you can run this whole system off of 6S and that is the main reason why uh, people are developing these uh, flight controllers that can uh, basically power the air unit because it requires a special power output that a lot of flight controllers don't have um, because this air unit can only uh, take up to 4S voltage if you uh, put 6S into this it will totally fry it it will exceed the maximum voltage capacity, or rated capacity for this unit. So the flight controller needs to provide the proper voltage. And the voltage regulator is on here is a 9 volt, 2 amp, 18 watt voltage regulator. So it will provide the proper voltage and wattage output for this air unit so that it won't uh, melt itself. That some people are putting some you know, DIY solutions and then destroying their air units because they're not providing the proper voltage and current and power output. Um, they think the air unit requires 9 volts, uh, 16 watts I believe power. So yeah, the, um, you can run 6S on this setup here and you can just plug in everything, um, no soldering at all and it will, well, it will just basically work. So basically you just have to solder on your um, battery lead, your motor wires of course to the motors, you're going to plug in uh, your e 400 EC connector here from the EC and then the other side is going to go into the flight controller over here and then the special plug for the air unit is right here. You get three different ones so you get a 40 millimeter, 100 millimeter, and 150 millimeter connector. They give you three different options. So basically, you just plug in this here into the air unit, plug on the flight controller, and then this is that special proprietary plug that the air unit requires. Of course, you know the air unit comes with the same plug, as you can see. And the other end is just the bare wire that you would have to solder to your flight controller. And then of course this just plugs into the back of the air unit, so it's a very clean, elegant solution. There's virtually no soldering involved other than the motors and the battery lead. And you just have to plug everything in and you should be good to go. Now, if you're not going to use the DJI radio uh, for control, then you're going to have to uh, not use the wire on here for SBUS that goes into UART1. You're gonna not have you're gonna have to not wire that in, and then wire in your uh, whatever receiver you're using, crosswire for example, you know, directly you have to solder that to the flight controller. So you have to, I think you'll either have to cut the wire for S bus from the controller here, and I'm not 100% sure which one it is on here. It's I think it's either the white or the gray wire. Not 100% sure. One of those um, is going to be S bus. You can disconnect that or cut that wire and not use that uh, from the area if you don't want to use control if you want to use your own radio otherwise if you're using all the DJI stuff then yeah you just just it makes it super easy you just plug this in plug that in and you're pretty much good to go and uh, you don't need to really really do anything else to get the system up and running okay so let me cover a little bit more about the specs on the ESC it's a 400 AC uh, BLA32 uh, 3 to 6s. It's 40 amps continuous current and up to 55 amps burst. There's no um, capacitor in here. It's just a mounting hard hardware. So it says that you don't need a capacitor for this one because it has these little tiny 10 microfarad capacitors. I think they say it's 48. So a total of 480 microfarads of uh, ca capacitor uh, filtering on the board so that's why there's no uh, external capacitor provided. This has ESC telemetry and also external current sensor on here so it's pretty loaded. There's also these pretty cool LEDs on here. You can see it's right underneath the heatsink and on um, this side and over on this side. I obviously, obviously don't have it plugged in, so I'll just put you a little picture up here of what it looks like when it's all powered up. 
and uh, that's just obviously just cosmetic, it's not really that functional. Uh, the flight controller here is an F4 flight controller, it has an MPU 6000 gyro, uh, it's got a 5 volt 2 amp regulator, a 9 volt 2 amp regulator as I mentioned before, it's got the beta flight OSD, special connector for your DJI air unit. I'm not exactly sure if all of these solder pads are labeled clearly. It looks pretty clear. I'm not sure if it's coming out on the camera. You can see the motor outputs here. Uh, you have EC telemetry, camera. You have your UARTs there. Yeah, the UART uh, has like RX4, TX4 for UART4. And then over on this side, you've got. Yeah, over here on this side, you have a UART2. Got your S bus output, LED, uh, smart audio. So this board has a total of six UARTs. I believe a couple of them are reserved for smart audio and uh, ASC telemetry. I think uh, UART six and four are free for whatever you want to use. And um, I think the uh, UART one is for inverted S bus. And you also have, um, I think it's UART three is going to be for inverted telemetry. And so on the other side of the board, you don't have anything at all. It's completely flat, as you can see, pretty cool. So uh, it should make for some nice tight builds. You don't, you can have a nice profile for your stack here. Obviously, you probably want a little bit of air cooling for your ESC for that heat sink there, but you can get this pretty low because there aren't any components here on the bottom of the board that are gonna get in the way. And you probably want to Hmm, I think you want to probably orient it like this. Yeah, something like that. And then maybe just have like a single nylon nut in between the two different boards there. You can get a nice low profile stack if you have a, a frame that requires a low profile stack. This is another advantage of this particular system. So I think this is the second one that I've seen that is uh, specifically made for the DJI air unit that has the proper 9 volt voltage regulator on it. The other one obviously is the one you saw earlier and the, the drone that DJI sent me had the uh, T-motor stack. I think that one, it runs about $140. This one runs about $100. So it's uh, definitely a, um, a lot less expensive. Uh, but I think this one is F4, the other one's F7 and that one's probably got bigger ESC. Slight differences, obviously you can check the link on the other video if you want to see the other stack, but of course it's $40 more this one. This one seems to be totally fine and should do the job for most of your builds or you want to put the air unit into. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.